Hello, it's Scott Manley here with uh, another update to the Star Citizen hangar with more dies to try and separate you from your cash. Uh, if you are a spaceship nerd and believe in that kind of thing. No, this is the Drake Interplanetary Cutlass. It is ostensibly a search and rescue spacecraft. Uh, however, really, uh, despite its white coloration, it really is a search for traders and s rescue them from their expensive cargoes. It is a pirate ship, but obviously Drake Interplanetary wants to have s at least an aura of legitimacy about them. At least that's what the roleplay text says. Seriously though, it's it it's kind of more like kind of like a freelancer. Uh, originally, it was billed as being a little smaller than it is, but it seems to be uh, much bigger than they originally intended. And uh, yeah, it, it it feels like it's more freelancer size, almost the same price range, and that cargo hold is quite capacious. Let's see, oh, we have some cargo nets there. Oh, and we have the space toilet. The really dirty, low-tech space toilet with... Wow, that is a nasty-looking space toilet. That... Wow. That is clearly not of the same standard. Let's see if I can sit him down on it. Well, what I gotta do... This is gonna require some careful navigation of my butt to get it onto the space toilet. Okay, there we go. Now let's move the camera around there and try reversing on. Oh, nope, slipped off again. Once again... Oh, nope. Hey! Wow, I fell out of the spacecraft. Um, well, apparently that space toilet is capable of flushing entire bodies. Which actually might be a good thing to have on a pirate ship, since, you know, opening the airlock to toss someone out could take a long time. If you can just throw them down the toilet, that may be faster. I mean, you know, space pirates make them walk the toilet or whatever. Uh, okay. Let's, what's this? We've got a hatch. That that kind of five-bladed hatch reminds me of the Millennium Falcon. If you remember Lando picking up Luke Skywalker from Cloud City. And uh, that is a turret up there. Clearly designed to carry search and rescue gear with uh, someone sitting inside it. No animations as far as I can see. Let me see if I can jump onto this. The hangar modifications recently have really nerfed the ability to jump. And a lot of places you used to be able to get a lot of spacecraft you could jump on, you can't get there anymore without some creative, you know, piling up of material by using the, the grey cat or whatever. But, uh, let me see, cockpit up here, and, um, well, it's pretty minimal. Uh, those, those seats look like uh, seats on military helicopters I've seen, except that they're red. They're very, very minimalist. But we can get in here, and uh, we have displays here, and these displays look higher resolution than any of the ones I've seen so far. They just flicker a lot. I don't get that. Um, still, looks pretty good there. Um, oh, we get a nice one there. If it will appear, come on. Ah, there we go. Look. Nice. So we have like infirmary status, something with 74 on it. We have all sorts. That, that is one of the best looking displays so far in the game, but I don't think of any of it actually means a darn thing. So yeah, let's uh, take a look at the exterior. You see, as I said, nice white um, search and rescue vehicle with a tooth, you know, teeth motif painted on, painted on it. Really, this makes me think of like a Ford Transit van or like a white, you know, pickup truck. Basically, you know, white van that people might use to say rob a bank. That's really the kind of vibe that it gives you. You know, utilitarian. I do kind of think that it's interesting that as a search and rescue vessel. Um, it has these big white wings that come out and nicely view your, nicely block your view to the side. Oh, look, they've mapped the... They can now actually move the guy's head around by moving the mouse. Hello! Hello on one side, hello straight ahead. Look, very nice. Maybe we could do a, a night at the Roxbury, you know? <laughs> that, would, that would be... I'm just waiting for someone to do night at the Roxbury tribute with Star Citizen. Okay, uh, yeah. Teeth and eyes, because that's what you want on a search and rescue ship, don't you? The reassuring uh, notion that the ship that's coming to rescue you is actually going to eat you. The turret there uh, doesn't look like it comes with any guns by default, but no doubt people will change that. Oh, sliding through the ship, nice. Again, looking at the rather large interior. Oh, yeah, textures close up, not so awesome. Yeah, I do not see anything in that turret. I guess those things there are where the guns are supposed to attach to, but there's nothing attached right now, so 
Uh, all you can do is admire and imagine and make pew pew sounds as you try to think what you'll be doing. As you try to think of everyone that you'll be trying to rescue from their uh, their their goods, from their wares. Anyway, moving on, we have the new Avenger. So after the original Avenger was released, people said, oh, this doesn't make sense, that doesn't make sense. And so they redesigned it. And I'm not saying that it makes any more sense, but uh, this is the new design. So the Avenger is an old style police spacecraft. So instead of having the cargo bay, you now have this kind of area with four, I don't know, they look like prison cells. I guess the idea is you put prisoners in there after you've you hunted them down. I'm not sure how you get them there, but that's where they go. You can climb through this, and it is very glitchy, but uh, if you get it right, you can actually move forwards. Uh, it is also possible to pop out through the top of the spacecraft, um, but uh, if you persevere, you will get through there. And see, this is the sleeping area for the pilot. He can sleep in his uh, area laying down, whereas the prisoners are forced to stand up because they're evil people, obviously. Uh, use and get out of this. You have a little hand to hold. This chair spins around and you are in the pilot seat, able to, you know, of course, fly around and shoot that really big oversized gun, which is part of the, kind of part of the signature look of the uh, Avenger. There we go, huh? Whoa. Kind of get that straight there. Hello. Yes, uh, still looking good there, Mr. Mr. Efficient Hair, sir. Although I do like the way you can use the force to move those joysticks without actually touching them. So the animations are, they've clearly made animations for these because you can see the guy kind of walking down and then grabbing handholds as he slings through those doors. Just like, uh, just see if we can see this again. It, the camera is a little janky in this and honestly this is the first release of this so I totally am unsurprised that there are weird animation glitches. But I'm just glad to have something. Unfortunately, the dogfighting module is delayed, officially. Anyway, moving on, I, I didn't make an update for this, but they had the whole Hornet variance update. This is what I had. I ended up buying an F7M, which is the multi... The, the, it's the Super Hornet, right? That means two, two crew on it, two, cock, two seats. And I'm trying to get on it. Now, the Super Hornet... Uh, it has an upgraded power plant and all that stuff. And originally they showed it with a you know a couple of Gatling guns in the turret. It was the only one you could buy with a turret. Unfortunately, uh, in the recent patch, something's happened. And basically the turret has disappeared completely from this, which is somewhat disappointing. Uh, Chris Roberts has clarified that the original images selling this, where they showed uh, Gatling guns in there, it's not the case. It's going to be laser Gatling guns, which look a whole lot less impressive. Um, there's some discussion, some uh, some grumblings about this. I mean, you know, when people pay money, there's always going to be a sense of entitlement. And when, when you sell something with uh, Gatling guns and then downgrade it to kind of wimpy laser Gatlings or whatever, then definitely there are people that are kind of unhappy with that situation. But, uh, you know, having a crowdfunded game, it is a somewhat toxic environment because everybody feels entitled to their opinion based upon how much money they've actually spent on the game. Also note, new animations as he jumps out. They are far better than the old ones. Anyway, that's, what, that's the Hornet variant I bought. They introduced a couple of other variants. Just take a look around. And they also introduced a body kit to uh, bring a regular Hornet up to a uh, military grade uh, exterior. Although it's not clear how close you can actually get to military grade or uh, beyond the one you get in the Squadron 42. So this is the military version. You see the Gatling laser turret there. Uh, this is the current military spec version that you get in the uh, if you manage to hack the hangar to make it visible. And it does not have the giant Gatling guns anymore up there. It does have the giant Gatling guns on the wings, which is fine. That That's the ball turret from underneath. So presumably that's the exactly the same thing that goes in the Super Hornet. The regular civilian version just has this cargo box. It just basically contains cargo. And again, you know, a lot of people, when they originally bought the Hornet, thought they were getting the military version and they were sad when they got the one with the cargo box. So, of course, many of them upgraded to the Super Hornet. There was the stealth variant, the ghost, I believe is what they call that. 
Uh, it doesn't really come with anything in that space other than something that's supposed to reduce its signature, uh, make it hard to see. Obviously, painting it black makes it harder to see. Um, not really sure about the science of their sensor systems, but never mind, nonetheless, having a ship that's black is cooler. And then you, of course, have the tracker variant, which is a, an S-Wax. That's right, it's like an A-Wax, but in space. So yeah, it has uh, all these extra sensors you can fly around. and uh, It'll be interesting to see if there's anything useful like in the big, the main game where, where this makes sense. You know, if you have to have a uh, one of these with your wing to be able to navigate and find the bad guys. Anyway, some other minor changes have turned up. First of all, on the Origin spacecraft, you can, in fact, open the doors from the inside now and uh, still jump out if you like. This is my 350R. The Constellation has had some minor animation changes. If you go to the sleeping quarters in the back, you can now open them up and uh, use them. So you can pick one of the beds and lay down in the beds and clip through yourself and lay down and appreciate what it will be like to be sleeping here while your friend flies the ship. Uh, hopefully not into a star because he's having fun with your expensive constellation. Yeah, you get a nice little uh, display there to remind you of home, I guess. You can just look at pictures or whatever while laying down. I kind of prefer the the aurora where you actually look out into space. Unless, of course, you're one of those hipsters that have the, the Legionnaire version. The, the hipster Legionnaire version does not have the window onto space. They have the window onto their power plant. Power plants being, I don't know, a hipster thing to look at, I guess. I don't know. Anyway... One other thing they have added with this release is, well, okay, they've upgraded this a little. It's a lot more responsive. You don't need to hold tab the whole time. You can take a look at all the parts. The Hammer Propulsion HM 4.3, the Bearing M4A Laser, the Jumpworks 350R with, you know, super things, and the RSI IM Leet Gun Mount IM31337. So the gun mount is something that you can uh, attach weapons to and it will let you fire them in the hangar. Now, to get weapons, you pretty much have to go to the weapons tab, drag a weapon off of your ship. You, you can't use the missile launchers that ha you've already got there. Ammo, all I see in this is a bunch of missiles to show that there is a placeholder, I guess. Uh, power plant. Look, there's the power plant of my um, 350R and there's my sexy twin thruster... Uh, racing model origin and there's nothing in the cargo right now okay sorry i'm getting distracted i was going to be making this thing shoot where are we all the way uh yeah i think this ui needs a lot of work it looks nice but it just is not that functional okay so i got this now we grab a weapon and attach it to here we get a green the the circle is green and the system is complete so you got a tab out of this hit or hit ta hit tab and then f to close it and look, now you have a gun mounted here. And it's kind of a wimpy gun because it's a gun designed to fit to a single man racing ship. Uh, yes, a very nice seat. Very fancy seat considering this seat isn't going anywhere. It grips you and holds you as you sit still in your hangar floor. Oh look, and there's the Christmas wreath there sitting above the door. Yes. I also like the fact that you've got this firing range, you can shoot the Vandal uh, cutout, cardboard cutouts. Sometimes the effect works, sometimes they don't. It's obviously a work in progress. That's the usual disclaimer, work in progress. Um, thankfully, the gun isn't super powerful because presumably behind that door is the hard vacuum of space and it would suck if you blew a hole in it and sucked yourself out. I mean, literally, it would suck. Uh, yeah. That's the most shooting you're going to do this year. The dogfighting module has been delayed. Uh, what else have we got over here? We have the, the elevator. We'll jump on the elevator and show you what's upstairs. So yeah, as I said, dogfighting module has been delayed. Uh, they can't make it. I think in part, you know, Elite maybe pushed the bar because the sound effects I've been hearing just couldn't compete with Elite Dangerous. I mean, you know, Elite Dangerous has a very well-rounded alpha obviously its scope is a lot less than this you still have the two costumes here you have mr efficient hair and you have this dude who has inefficient hair and looks very sulky right now because he's staring at the floor i'm sad my hair isn't as efficient as i'd like 
Yes, I'm very sad. There's my trophy case. Totally empty. I like the fact they gave you a trophy case, which is completely empty. Uh, unless you happen to be a golden ticket holder, in which case you have that. Good for you. But I don't have anything like that. I have an empty case. Sparse. But instead, I have this sexy Foot Locker, which uh, you push a button and everything pops out. I'm not sure how useful that is, but uh, it do is a nice piece of furniture, I guess. There, fold everything away. How wonderful is that? And the fish tank has been updated, so you can sit, you can see this. Is that a helmet in there? I hadn't noticed that. It looks like there's a space helmet that maybe a hermit crab lives in that. That would be kind of funny. Uh, yeah, is that, I, my, it looks actually like a, ha a helmet from a Halo, you know, trooper. And yes, the Midas fish and everything else. So yes, that is the latest hangar update. Dogfighting module has been delayed, will not be out until next year. Uh, we, If you look at the live stream that was on Twitch yesterday, you'll see uh, the thing does actually work. But um, yeah, you're not going to play, play it until next year. Regardless, this is Star Citizen. I'm Scott Manley. Have a great Christmas and fly safe.